Are you wanting to, to develop higher confidence? Well, today I'm going to share three tips with you. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra special point for you then as well. Now, I wanted to mention this, that I have an opportunity for you to personally work with me. However, I've only got three spots for you to work with me as your business coach. So more on that later. And you can also find a link in the show notes as well. So for me, I was uh, writing a, a blog earlier. I was writing a blog about three tips for higher confidence. And well, I was writing a blog. I'll, I'll take that back. That's what the episode's on. I was writing this episode's on. I was writing a blog about mood swings. And I was sharing some, you know, mental health challenges I've had. And when I've had like mood swings, uh, you know, going from a feeling really good and energetic to feeling down. And I also realized that's the same with confidence. There's certain things that make you feel really on top and things that really shrink my confidence. Maybe you can relate as well. So, for example, I've had high confidence when I've been around people buzzing with energy. I was on my uh, sales team call earlier, and uh, that's one of my main focuses. I obviously work in sales. I work in uh, and I also do my blog, my podcast and everything. But I was with uh, a sales, one of the uh, uh, people I work with, well, two of the people I work with in the sales team. And they're really high energy driven entrepreneurs. And I felt really, really good, confident because we were bouncing off each other's energy, giving each other us ideas. And I've been around that in like uh, live events. Uh, I've been to the personal growth world, get a lot of energy. Even virtually you can do it as well. You can even get it off someone's voice, like on a podcast, for example. I've also noticed uh, certain foods can bring me up. I feel good, like when I'm eating fruits, fresh fruits, fresh drinks. And then there's other things where sometimes they can make you feel good in the moment, and then you feel awful afterwards. And we're all different. We've all got different sensitivities. Examples like high levels of sugar. That's typically for most people. You get a high spike, and then you feel not so good. And this does relate to confidence because it's going to impact your energy and your mood and therefore your confidence. For me as well, another one is running. I feel really on top of things. I'm like, I can conquer this, this and this. And I've gone for a good run. And I've been running for so many days in a row now that I've got to like tame it down a little bit. Now, in terms of your uh, your confidence, and we're going to go into the three tips, but it's about self-awareness really, because there are environmental things and things we, we do for, do to ourselves that can impact our confidence. So I want to ask you this. How is it helping you by just being completely unconscious to this, not paying attention to what's feeding your confidence and what's knocking you? Now, you're probably aware of one or two things, yet you don't do anything to address it. There are some things you just do without thinking about it that impact your confidence in maybe not a positive way. The The good thing is some, well, the good thing is for some people that they just, they do things that impact their confidence unconsciously in a positive way because they've trained themselves to do it and again and again. Now, if you're anything like me, it didn't do me any favours. It doesn't do me any favours when I just was completely unconscious to my behaviour and it's about becoming more conscious because then we can start to shift things like, so we can start doing things that enhance our confidence and get rid of things that knock our confidence. Okay, so the first thing in terms of this on these three tips is make a decision that you want high confidence right now this sounds really simple really stupid in, in some sense it's like well everyone wants high confidence well you can say you will but sometimes i've been there in a moment that i'm just like hmm, i don't have any confidence i don't feel great or i feel rubbish and Honestly, I wasn't making an effort or really wanting to say, you know, making an effort to feel confident. So you've got to make a determined decision that you want to feel high confidence. That's the first one. Now, sometimes that's going to be hard when you're in a low state. So how do you change your state? What you need to do is do some exercise or something that makes you feel good. That could be something uh, like exercise, as simple as that, to get you into feeling good. I sometimes get on the floor and do press-ups as crazy as I am. The second thing you can do, is through your day, I'm not talking about carrying a physical journal with you. You can do that if you want. I'm, I want to keep it simple as possible. Is we carry our phones around and our phones distract us all the time. So I get distracted on my phone a lot, right? Uh, not as much as, uh, as sometimes than others, but, you know, it's something I've worked on. 
admittedly, as, as someone who's sort of in the entrepreneurial space, I have to use my phone for business as well. You can use your phone for a good thing here, though. If you use even a notes function, so actually, if you're trying to not distract your phone yourself on the phone, um, you can put airplane mode and just use uh, the notes function and start keeping a list. I like to keep a list on mine and then review it either a few times a week or, or weekly. Start writing down what the things that made you have higher confidence. Just start noticing them when some, you notice something, go aha, and then write it down. And praise yourself for noticing, pat yourself on the back because you're going to do more of it when you do it. So if you, for example, you're like, I'm feeling really confident and you're around a bunch of people that give you high energy, make a note of that. If, for example, you push yourself out of the comfort zone a tiny little bit and then you're like, oh, I feel pretty confident, make a note of that. Because when you're making notes of this, you're going to raise awareness to do more of it. If perhaps, though, you don't feel so confident, maybe it's like, even you've eaten like, you know, too much junk food or something. And then you're like, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I don't feel good about myself. Make a note of that. So you're going to start writing notes about what made you feel more confident and what didn't. OK. And then the third part of this is review a few times a week or once a week. So then what you're going to do also is then start thinking, right, how can I change some of these? Now, you're not going to be able to change everything, but maybe... Pick a couple, two or three uh, things that you need to remove or add in more of into your, your routine and think, how can you do it? So, for example, if you're like, oh, well, the other day I was around a good bunch of friends that I don't regularly see uh, or an old bunch of friends that I don't regularly see, but I've got the opportunity to do so. They give me high energy. I feel confident after I'm with them. Well, maybe it's it's a case of you scheduling some more times catching up with them right or something like that or maybe you're like oh it's too much oh, when i eat that, those foods i feel horrible or maybe your action is to remove it from your kitchen cupboard right or fridge whatever it is so making a note but then this third one i'm talking about is actually thinking about some of these things you've made a note of how can you start adding in things that make you feel good more and how can you start taking away some of the things that don't make you feel good? Even just the second step, making a conscious effort is going to make you more conscious to doing things. So that's what I like to do regularly through my days, make a note. Like I felt amazing when I went running earlier. I had a little bit of uh, uh, black coffee, I noticed today. Um, just that, And I felt good. I felt all right. Um, didn't impact me I like the taste but then I had a huge American black Americano the other day and I didn't feel so good uh so I just reminded myself I don't need to have too much of that so we're going to go on to the final point now just before we do that I just want to mention a little bit more about the one-to-one -one spots I've got three spots for three individuals so I'm not going to have like huge amount of capacity but this is for one-to-one -one business coaching so if you want to start a business and you're like oh, i've been on the fence and you're using rubbish excuses like i'm too busy or oh, it's a priority down the line all these kind of things well stop making excuses and get started and if you want someone to guide you through the process all you got to do is click in the link below and all we're going to do is have a simple chat to see if it's a right fit for you so i'll leave that link below okay so my final uh, bonus point I want to share with you is adding some things to your day that genuinely lights you up like don't overcomplicate it and I had to have a conversation with someone recently about this uh, and actually she she had to have a word with me so <laughs> because I wasn't doing something that I love and that's writing so I started writing again recently and that really lights me up and also I realized how much uh, exercise lights me up so I started the 75 hard challenge uh, google it if you haven't uh, done it but uh it's basically you've got to exercise twice a day drink a gallon of water no junk food uh 10 minutes of personal growth so it's the exercise that gets you out of anything anyway i realized that sort of that's really lighting me up so do one thing and also the writing so do that's two things obviously but do one thing each day that genuinely lights you up because that's going to add more confidence because you're doing something you like for you and you feel good afterwards as a result so that's what I've got for you today. Once again, just to mention, if you're looking to start a business and you want a business coach and you've been looking around, well, I'm giving you an opportunity. There's free one-to-one -one spots, so that's linked below. 
uh, won't be hanging around forever. So don't hold yourself back. I appreciate you for being here. You're improving other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.